Happy 2024. Happy New Year. I hope you had a great Christmas. Let's dive in. So here is a quick glimpse of a hole I need to put in for the lights. Now I'm using battery powered lights because one, they're easier to fit. Two, I think they're a lot safer than wired in, especially if a child is going to play with this. I would much rather a battery operated light. So I'm going to put a fire here, a cast iron look fire. And I want lights to go from the fire right across the ceiling, through that wall and into the next room. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing a wall light yet. I kind of wing it as I go along and undecided. So I used a uh, tape just to put them in place. I've got it where I want it there. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that next light. I might possibly cover it over through to the next room. That one I might not use, I'm not sure. And I've got one, two, three lights there on the ceiling. As I say, just temporarily stuck down for the minute while I position them where I wanted them. I'm still undecided about that light. I most probably will cover it over. A wall light and then lights for the fireplace. Uh, the fireplace needs a lot of work yet. So this is the fire uh, basic shape that I've made for the cast iron effect fire. So when I've done the inside of it to make it look like a fire, I think I will put a red cover over it so it'll look glow red. And that's the top that I made for it. I still need to make sides. So just giving you an idea of how it will look. But as I say, a lot more detail needs to go on that fire yet. Uh, shelving unit I need to finish. Um, there's a lot to do in these rooms, a lot to do. As I say, this uh, shelving unit, I put the details on in the last video and I used that gluey kind of, uh, what do they call them, pearlescent drop things. I'll show you when I do the fire and they dry raised, so it's great. Uh, the top is the same as the work top at the back, that would affect. So I need to paint those. I also need to paint the floor. So I'm going to use acrylic paint for this because I want it to look old and worn with several layers of varnish on, like old stain and all this. And I know I'm going to get that effect with acrylic paint. So I will show you how it looks in a minute. And here it is, painted and varnished. And it looks brilliant. It looks patchy. It looks worn. It really does look like an old floor. Um, it's hard to see on these photos, really. I must get a better picture of it. So there's the lights taped in. As I say, I'm pretty happy with where they are. Yeah, this paper is amazing. It does create the effect of a plaster ceiling. So I was really fortunate to find this. It comes in big squares on the roll, so I can just cut out the squares and look at that. I need to put an edging around that yet. So it'll look like it is plastered in the middle. So I'm going to do that. The lights were easy to fit through. I just turned the lights on, put the paper against it, marked it off, cut holes. And there we go. The lights are on it. They're through the paper. Brilliant. I need to make light shades for those. So that's that room done for the ceiling. As I say, just at the edge. So here I'm going to paper the side wall because before I put the edge on the roof, on the ceiling, sorry, I want the paper to be against it. And I need to put a top kind of pelmet around the... Oh, is it pelmet? Is it coving? One of the two. Don't worry about the bumps in the paper. They're going to stretch out as it dries. You won't see them. It looks a mess at the minute, but it will disappear. And we're pretty much on the way to getting completed. We're getting there. So the floor, I'm really pleased with. Look how worn it looks. The brilliant effect that I was after. It it turned out really well. Really pleased with that. Uh, still got a lot to do in this room. Skirting boards, coving, all the rest of that. The more shelving units. Uh, yeah, so we'll take it one step at a time. So here is the fire. I want to put some detail on the front because what's going to happen with this is I'm going to paint it black and then pick up the detail in silver. So I'm going to show you here how I put some detail on the front. I don't need it to be too fancy because it is going to be side on. It's not going to be right in your face. So 
it'll be nice to look at as you, you know, you look round the room, you'll notice the detail, but it's not going to be fully on show. So I do want a bit of detail there. So I'm going to make some side panels for this with the card that I'm using. And I'm cutting out little rectangles that I'm going to use top and bottom just to make it look a bit even and then stick them on and then I'll put some more detail on in a sec. So there we go, the top and bottom. And then I want to make little slivers for either side, which you'll see in a minute. So there we go. We've got the sides now, the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to use my favourite stick-on embellishments shortly. I've used them in so many things. Put them into individual ones and as i say once that is painted and the pits are with silver it's gonna look good i still need to make more detail so i'm going to use that paint again the gel like paint it does set hard and as i say when that is painted and picked up the silver again it'll look good and i'm going to show you how i do that in a minute so i'm using yoohoo glue here just to stick those on I don't want them falling off it's going to look a bit of a mess get those on there and try and just by eye really just to make sure they're pretty much level and here's that little paint detail I'm going to do on doesn't have to be perfect and it, it, it's clear I mean it's pearlescent but it doesn't matter because, as I say, it's going to be painted. You're not going to see that effect, but I suppose it's quite nice if you're doing card making or something where you want that pearlescent effect on it. But there, I'm just putting on like a scroll design. And then down the sides, I'm putting some uh, like dotty kind of lines that will look like... If you have a look at cast iron... Uh, fireplaces you'll see what I mean it, they've got that, this detail down the side it's like scroll work kind of thing and I'm just imitating that with this making sure that we get no peaks sticking up because if you do leave a peak like icing if you leave a peak it will dry like that so save me trimming it off and messing about I just make sure it's flattened so you'll see what I mean in a minute I get these bits on blob them on quite fun to do actually it's like icing biscuits yeah and then flatten it out a little bit and then just the bottom to do now I'm gonna put some more detail on the bottom and as I say when it's painted and I pick it up in silver it's gonna look quite effective I think oh should I leave it no let's carry on <laughs> so kind of make it up as you go along and again, when you do dots like this, they will peak up. So get rid of them, flatten them down a bit. And that's that for now. I still need to do the detail in the middle for the actual fire itself, which I will show you in the next video. But for now, that is done. So now, oh, this has been a headache trying to figure out this room next to the pharmacy. So I've papered the false wall. This is the false wall that you're going to pull out to see what's behind the door. It's very difficult to figure out how to do this room because I didn't want a permanent wall. I wanted to give the next owner the option of you could take that wall out and do something else with the room if you wanted. But this was, because it's a shop, I wanted them to walk in through the front door to right into the pharmacy. So this is what I've done because this room wasn't big enough for the pharmacy, this little one. So I'm, I'm using this as a spare kind of 
an old living quarters kind of they don't know what to do with it it's been papered decorated ripped off and all this i've done the same ceiling as what i did for the pharmacy i've covered that light but i think i need to do more to it so i've hinged the door with some masking tape now don't underestimate the power of masking tape it's quite strong I glued all the edges of the door i still a lot to do i need to decorate the other side of the wall to make it match the other wall and like i said they're going to walk in through the front door that well they would have done and walked into the pharmacy that way so i need to make a hinge just to like a latch just to keep that wall back um, I did have to leave a gap at the bottom because I needed to make clearance for the front of the doll's house. I need to redecorate that and the other side because, as I say, I couldn't make my mind up how this was going to work. So I do stick paper on that. Thank you for watching.